Jewish dress code for men. Well, really, the, the dress code for men, and uh, we're going to talk about this later on, too. It has to do with the Parsha. Is that uh, the dress code for men is, let's start from top to bottom, is you should have a head covering. It doesn't have to be a yarmulke, which it could be. You could wear a hat, you know, but you have to have your head covered. You shouldn't walk you shouldn't walk around with your head exposed. Um, that's, 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 that's starters. Next thing is, as you go down, like, we don't do long hair unless you're, like, a nuzzer, which we're going to get into, but Jews have short hair, and they'll have their payas out long. Or if you're a musician, or you go to the Happy Minion, then you can have long hair. Yeah, I don't want to, you know, like, say names, but the, the, to have long hair, okay, uh, I, it's just not the Jewish derif. That's really not the Jewish derif. Okay? Uh, if you're going to have long hair, you should have just payas. That's a Jewish thing. You just have payas. Beard. Jews should always have a beard. Levy went the extra step and has it go all the way down to his puppet. Right? Because he thinks this is bringing in the chicks. No one ever gives me a hard time about my observance level. Once I, like, sport the long beard. Oh, no is that ever, what it is? No one ever says, oh, you should do more mitzvahs. You should, you know, you should daven more. You should study more Torah. You should be... You should be more frum. Why aren't you more religious? No one ever says that to me anymore since I've grown the beard. So then, just keep it. Just keep it. It's look, like it's instant, like instant street cred. It, I can walk into okay. any shul with this long beard. No one gives me soros. They give me respect. Okay, so like in in in, in the like as the, long as they don't know me. In the, yeah, uh, it would be like tantamount like in the uh, in the rap world, like or something, you know. You walked in with like a tattoos all over your face. Yeah, yeah. So you have tattoos on your face. Yeah. And now you're like you're in. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know it's really sad. It's a sad commentary. I know. And it's, I'm saying that's good that that you know. But it's a sad commentary on the Jewish form community that that it requires that. Like like that. You know what I mean? That that makes a difference. Well, if you if you go everywhere in a black hat and a black suit and a white shirt, that's similar. But this doesn't come off, and so you're so obviously going against the the customs, the mores of, uh, of the wider world around us, and it's not its not a cool thing in like the, the normal world to, to have a beard, so, you know, whether you like it or not, the beard resonates with people in a Jewish way. Like, homeless people call me rabbi. They talk about that. Uh, it just, beard has traditionally been the Jewish thing, like, I think, you know, I don't know, but I suspect Moses had a beard. I suspect Isaiah had a beard. I suspect Jeremiah had a beard. Yeah, they're, they're I suspect Rabbi Akiva and all Hillel these people had beards. Had beards. The so as soon as people see a beard, they immediately resonate. It like even if they it bypasses the conscious mind, just it may even just go unconsciously. It's like this is someone who takes being Jewish seriously. Okay, yeah, I guess it's from. I'm the not flip saying side. that that's how it should be. I'm saying that's how it is. They're like some things, just like if you dress in a sloppy way. People won't take what you have to say seriously, generally speaking. Okay. So there are like certain visual cues that uh, that are almost impossible to overcome. Like I'm going to talk later about this actress who did some softcore movies, and then no one ever took her seriously as an actress. So there are like things that you can do, visual cues that are virtually impossible to overcome. Yeah, like uh, like your website. <laughs> like my website. <laughs> My and in my case, my association to you. Exactly. <laughs> okay. 